the truth about the buy now, pay later loans that they may not want you to know. What up? You got Mr. Smith, 0.5 of Mr. and Mrs. Smith. And in this brief video, I want to talk to you about the truth about the buy now, pay later loans that they may not want you to know. They're growing in popularity in terms of companies incorporating it into their systems from Amazon to Walmart to PayPal. You know, the list goes on and on. And a popular company that has made this possible for many entities to use is a company known as Affirm. There are several others, but it's growing on the horizon. So I just kind of want to put you up on game on how it works to a degree so you can have an understanding about it and determine whether that's a good move or not for you. Now, it does set you up to have a loan attached to it. Sometimes it may sound good, sound favorable, sound intriguing when it says buy now, pay later but it's setting you up to get an installment loan now with an installment loan installment loans tend to lock in an interest rate meaning you can't dodge it once it's locked in you have to pay that interest rate so you're locked into the amount that you have to pay no matter if you pay it off sooner or later you're still locked into that interest rate now i will say this Sometimes credit cards can be more beneficial because you're not locked into an interest rate. If you pay a credit card off sooner, then you save countless amount of interest. However, credit cards can be uh, be risky if you're not in understanding of how it works, if you don't understand how it works. So it definitely can be risky. However, with these buy now, pay later loans, they lock you into an installment loan. Now, that can be beneficial depending on how you use it. And I recommend if you do decide to use that, if that option is available, make sure you're spending money or buying something that is an asset, not just acquiring a liability just so you can have it right now. Because the truth of the matter is, just like with cars, they operate on installment loans. By the time that loan is fully fulfilled, in many cases, you don't even like the item as much as you did to the point where some people are upset to even still be paying on the loan because the car has deteriorated. Now, a car can be an asset because it can take you point A to point B, get you in a position to make money. You know, you can use the car to make money with different apps and platforms that are available now, such as renting a car out or doing something like Uber. And then if you're in business, you can get tax deductions associated with the car. So a car can be an asset even though on paper it's a liability if not done correctly. However, most people, when they use these buy now, pay later, they're buying things that does not appreciate in value. And if it does not appreciate in value by default, it can be a liability. So make sure you consider that before making a purchase because you'll find yourself with a whole lot of liabilities and a lot of things that you were able to buy now but had to pay back later and you have these installment loans attached to these items with interest rates that are locked in and once those interest rates are locked in you are locked in as well and this does damage your credit now it can benefit your credit if you if used correctly sometimes people do need installment loans on their profile in order to give them the proper credit mixture in order to give them some new credit established sometimes they definitely can benefit from it so some people will actually get the loan pay it on time and have a score increase i'm aware of that but from a cash flow standpoint a wealth standpoint i want you to be considering the fact that it's locking in an interest rate and if you had to go into a position to do the buy now pay later then it's a good chance that you might not actually be able to afford that item which means you might not necessarily need to buy that item so understanding that because a lot of times companies will frame something up as if it has your best interest at heart as if it's to your benefit solely but in our actuality it helps to grease their palms a lot more and i can see why different entities want to use the buy now pay pay later program and format because it does increase sales they're able to get more people to go ahead and complete the buying process without abandoning cart because people are like, okay, I can buy now, pay later, pretty much it's gonna be approved. And now they're able to get more people to buy and remove the fact that some people abandoned the cart, but it helps them out because it makes their books profitable. And then the companies that allow for the buy now, pay later, such as a firm, of course, they're looking more profitable because they loaned you some money. And now that loan has 10% to 30% interest rate attached to it, which makes them profitable. Now, what I want you to understand is it's not about 
just you acquiring what you need to get right now to buy now and pay later. I want you to be thinking like they're thinking. They're thinking, what can make me more profitable? When Walmart decided to do it and do away with their layaways, they're thinking, what can make me more profitable? More people are likely to buy if they go through this buy now and pay later. This will help us create more profits. They're thinking like a business. That's what they're supposed to do. Try to become more profitable. And if you're in pursuit of a profit, then that allows you to get tons of tax deductions and benefit. Walmart is a big boy. They know what they're doing. So they're thinking like a business. Same with a firm. They're thinking like a business. And more importantly, they're thinking like a bank. They're like, okay, how can I give away this digital money and earn a rate of return on this digital money to the tune of 10 to 30%? What I want you to do is think like a business. Think like a business when it comes to your own personal finances. And that will separate you from being taken advantage of to being a person who takes advantage of opportunities when they present themselves. That being said, I got an opportunity that has just presented itself to you. And all you need to do is click the link available below to get access to what we consider to be a personal financial success membership. It helps you increase your cash flow. It helps you increase your credit score. It helps you minimize your taxes legally so you're not overpaying in taxes. It teaches you investment tournament knowledge and education so you can understand how to go about the investment process. And it gives you the opportunity to earn income if you so choose, but that's optional. Nonetheless, it helps you get a hold and a grasp of financial literacy so you know when somebody has your best interest at heart and when they don't. So it minimizes you being able to be taken advantage of using a money membership that holistically helps you because it focuses on all the necessary factors in order to help you in the areas that I just listed. If that sounds like something you may be interested in, definitely click the link available below so you can take advantage of it and get access to the system. Once you're inside the system, we'll welcome you with open arms and now the light bulbs will go off in your head because you will now know that not everybody has your business best interests at heart, even if they frame it up as if this thing, this program, this offer will save you or help you or protect you or make you money, allowing you to buy now and pay later. So I hope that was helpful. Share this with somebody else who you feel may benefit. Just wanted to give you an insight of what my perspective is of that. So you can do with it as you wish. And you can use it to your advantage if it makes sense to do so. But if you do it, try to make it go towards an asset, something that's going to be income producing or cash flow producing versus the latter. That being said, that's all I got. Mr. Smith signing out.